What is going on people, it's Matt from Liquid Loans and in this video we're going to find out why Liquid Loans itself is a game changer, not only for the Pulse Chain ecosystem, but for crypto in general. Let's go. Well, let's start here with the problem and the solution. We've all heard of buyer's remorse. When somebody buys something, they spend a lot of money and they go on to regret it. But what about seller's remorse? Well, this is a real thing in investing and especially in crypto. When somebody sells their crypto, their digital asset, too early only to watch it go up in price and run away up and to the right. Just like this poor gent here, you know, the old hands in the head, maybe he's thinking, why did I sell Bitcoin at a dollar? at $10, $100, $1,000, $10,000. If that was you, you'd probably be on suicide watch knowing how much money you'd left on the table. But now that's a thing of the past because with protocols like liquid loans, you can get liquidity from your crypto and still retain full ownership. Sounds too good to be true, it's not. It's called collateralized borrowing. It's been going on forever in the legacy finance world and now it's on the blockchain. But how, I hear you ask? Well, let's answer these questions before we go any further. How does it work? You use PLS token, the native token of Pulse Chain, as collateral in a smart contract to acquire liquidity. Yes, please. Who gives me the loan? You do. No middlemen, no counterparty risk, just you interacting with the smart contract, with the code, and you mint yourself a stablecoin known as USDL. How much can I borrow? The minimum amount you can borrow is 2,000 US dollars. The maximum is up to 90% of the value of collateral in your vault. How much is the interest? Zero, nada, zilch. There's no interest. There's a small fee between half a percent to 5% depending on the health of the system. When do I have to pay it back? You don't have to pay it back. As long as you're over collateralized, you never have to pay your loan back. And that brings us on to collateral ratios. You must be over collateralized to obtain a loan and the minimum amount is 110%. So for example, if you wanted a loan of 2000 USD, you would need to deposit at least $2,200 worth of Pulse into your vault. But that could still be risky because if the market moved against you, you'd be up for liquidation quite quickly. So a collateral ratio of around 300 to 500% or even higher would always be advised to stay safe and stay away from that liquidation zone. So let's look at a real world example of how you could use liquid loans. Let's say you invested $1,000 into Pulse and you got 1,000X on your return. That's $1 million, $1 million. That's 1,000X and that's not unheard of in crypto at all. And now you're looking at new cars and you're thinking, maybe the Lambo, maybe the Ferrari, and then the missus is like, no, no, no. The kids, we need the space, giving it GBH the ears. And you're like, okay, let's compromise. Let's get a Range Rover, a nice $100,000 Range Rover. Well, without liquid loans, you'd probably have to sell the good part of 200K to pay for the taxes, the fees, and then buy your Range Rover. With liquid loans, you get to buy your Range Rover, keep your crypto, and hopefully watch it go up in price. But how, how do I do this? I'm gonna show you step by step. Step one, connect your wallet to liquid loans. So head over to liquidloans.io, click the launch dApp and connect your MetaMask or connect your wallet, just like you would on a DEX, on Uniswap, One Inch, or Matcha, similar to that. Step two, create your vault. Choose how much of your pulse you wanna use as collateral. Remember, the maximum you can borrow is 90% of the value of pulse you place into your vault. In other words, you must always have that minimum collateral ratio of 110%, because if the market moves against you and the price of pulse drops and your ratio dips beneath 110%, you're in risky territory, you can be up for liquidation. You then pay that one-time fee we talked about between half a percent to 5%, depending on the health of the system. Most of the time it's gonna be that low half a percent fee. So step three, borrow against your pulse. Let's say you choose to place all of your $1 million worth of pulse into your vault, and then you're gonna borrow $105,000. So for the Range Rover and a few other bits and bobs, that would leave you at a very safe collateral ratio of nearly 1,000%, nice safe level to avoid any liquidations in case the market moves against you. Step four, send your USDL to an exchange, swap it into fiat currency, and then move it to your bank account. Now, as we speak, the Liquid Loans team are in direct contact with exchanges for this to be a real thing. But if it's not at the time of you using the protocol, it's still very simple. You take your USDL to a DEX, a decentralized exchange, swap it for something like Pulse, bridge it over to Ethereum, and then send it straight to Coinbase. Bob's your uncle. Step five, go and buy that Range Rover. So roll down to the dealership, 
pick up your shiny new SUV and pump those tunes. Yay, parte. For me, it's gonna be a bit of hip hop in the car. Maybe if I'm with a lady, I'm gonna be playing a bit of jazz, trying to be smooth. But you do you, like no judgment. If you wanna play like it's Raining Men or YMCA or anything like that, you know, you do you, just no judgment from me. And come tax time, speak to your accountant, not financial advice, but in most jurisdictions, loans are tax free and there's no capital gains tax to pay on it. Again, I'm not an accountant, I'm not a tax advisor, I'm not a financial advisor, so this is not financial advice, but in most jurisdictions around the world, no CGT to pay on your loan. Step seven, sit back, watch your pulse grow hopefully. While you're enjoying your new car, pulse is likely to be growing. Of course, crypto has its ups and downs, but good projects on the whole trend up and to the right over time. And as long as your pulse is growing in value, it's gonna be further reducing you from any chance of being liquidated in the future. It's also up to you, as we talked about, if you wanna pay it off. You don't ever need to pay your loan back as long as you're over collateralized. And because you borrowed 105,000 against $1 million of collateral in the form of Pulse, the PLS token, your collateral ratio is exactly 952%, which again is a nice safe level to avoid any liquidations in case the market moves against you. But liquid loans is more than just a borrowing and lending protocol. It's also a powerful investment tool. So how do we use it like that? Well, you can become a stability provider to the stability pool and you can earn more pulse when those risky vaults get liquidated. Not you though, because you're gonna be safely collateralized, have a nice high collateralization ratio. And you can earn another token in the stability pool called the loan token. You can then take that loan token to the staking pool and start earning more USDL and more pulse from fees in the system. So let's look at the ecosystem flowchart from a nice high macro view. We start here in our wallet with Pulse and we deposit that into our vault. We then mint ourselves some USDL stablecoin. Yes, please. And we have a few options. We can take it out into fiat and spend it. You know, whatever you want, the car, the house, the strippers. I mean, the just the, just the car in the house, obviously. And then, or if you wanna be smart, you can put some in the stability pool earn pulse from those risky liquidated vaults, not you. And you get rewarded with that secondary token, the loan token. And again, you can take that out into fiat and spend it on nice wholesome things, or you can provide that to the loan staking pool and start earning USDL from fees and pulse from redemptions. So I like to call this the wheel of life or the wheel of forever giving financial freedom. So to sum it up, liquid loans is about you using your pulse as collateral in a smart contract to acquire liquidity in a completely decentralized fashion with no counterparty risk. If you believe in freedom and real crypto and DeFi, that should be music to your ears, my friends. You then take that USDL stablecoin, exchange it for fiat, use it as you wish, not anything CD, you know, just wholesome stuff, ofs, and you never have to pay back your loan as long as you are over collateralized and therefore you retain ownership of your pulse you retain ownership of your crypto. Amazing, but it doesn't stop there. It does not stop there. You can also use the Liquid Loans protocol as an investment tool, become a stability provider, earn that loan token, stick that loan token in the staking pool, earn more USDL and Pulse from fees. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how Liquid Loans is a game changer. So I hope that video gave you some insight into how powerful Liquid Loans is and how it can be used in the real world. If you do have any more questions, do check out our website, liquidloans.io. It really is a hub of information, a wealth of information over there. And if you still can't find what you're looking for, bounce into our Telegram group, links in the description. Our superstar mods and admins are in there 24 seven answering your questions questions. If you like the video guys, hit like, share, subscribe and that bell notification so you're notified every time we drop new videos and new content on the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.